Uh, I'm a little too traumatized to have a scone. This is a great line. That's a great line. What a great line. Hey, I'm Reese. I'm Ashton Kutcher, and today we are playing Who Said That with Elle. We are going to be given a line from a movie or TV show, and we have to guess which one of our past or present co-stars said it. No, before we begin, don't forget to watch Your Place or Mine. It's now on Netflix. So go watch that and then watch this. Or watch this and then go watch that. No, go watch the movie Reese first. is right. Do the film first. <laughs> By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. It's gotta be Meryl Streep, right? Ding, 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 ding! By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. Whoa, dude, you're a dude. <laughs> Sean William Scott? I said that? Oh, dude, you're a dude! Whoa, dude, you're a dude. Whoa, dude, you're a dude. I don't, I don't remember. I, okay. Well, you, I said, said it. you said it well. And by the way, I've never worked with Ben Stiller, so I had a 50% chance that I got it wrong. It's Guardian. Why would I want to be a garden of the galaxy? Zoe Saldana. Guardians of the galaxy. Oh. Why would we be the gardens of the galaxy? <laughs> you better hold on tight, spider monkey. I know this one. Do you really? Yeah, I absolutely know this one. That's Bradley Cooper. It's got to be Bradley Cooper. Uh... Stop it. Stop it. Spider monkey? What? You better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> There's there no spider, spider monkey, monkey in There was Twilight? a spider monkey in that, like, no, hangover film with Bradley oh, Cooper. That's yeah, why I thought yeah, it had to be Bradley right. Cooper. That's, that's a there good was point. a spider monkey in that film. We were both wrong. Well, huh? Who needs him? I got a vibrator. Cameron Diaz. Dang. Ding, ding, ding. I've got a vibrator. <laughs> I'm a little too traumatized to have a scone. That's great, a great line. That's a great line. What a great line. I'm gonna go Vince Vaughn. I'm a little too traumatized to have a scone. It's a great line. I knew it was Vince. That's too. a fantastic line. Because he's the funniest. He's so funny. I mean, he thinks of funny stuff. Okay, you see that guy over there by the menus? Freakishly tall, excellent mustache. Okay, that had to be Katherine Heigl. You see that guy over by the menus? Freakishly tall, excellent mustache. She was talking about Tom Selleck. Oh, really? Excellent mustache. Oh. Okay, I'm making out with this guy, PG stuff, but he mentions he's going out of town, so he's gonna be out of touch. Sarah Geller. Sarah Michelle. Uh, oh. I'm making out with this guy, uh, PG stuff, and he mentions that he's going out of town, so he's gonna be out of touch. He's just not that into you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this love? I can't see it. I can't touch it. I can't feel it. I can hear it, I can hear some words, but I can't do anything with your easy words. Natalie Portman. Where is this love? I, I can't see it, I can't touch it, I can't feel it. Have you worked with Lindsay Lohan? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I, and I also haven't worked with Rachel McAdams, so, so I, there's only one. So you knew it was one. Natalie. Got it. Okay. There was only one. Uh, Got it. The process of elimination. Your Place or Mine is just pure fun. I mean, if you just want to have a good time, it's a great movie to watch. It's that movie that I think everybody needed during the pandemic, and now it's here. It's about <laughs> two grown-ass adults working through their grown-ass adult and figuring out that the world will be a better place if they're together. Like their yeah. world will be better. Yeah, their world like will the be better. Like the whole world's gonna be better because they're together? This isn't like Barack Obama get elected moment, but it's more like, uh, you know. Like two people figure their shit out. Yeah, we'll be happier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah these, these two They got out you know. of their own way. And it's also about believing that friendship can lead to romance. You heard it here. 